Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Tiyanka, and if you like all things lifestyle, beauty, and doing things yourself, you might as well go ahead and subscribe. Today I'm gonna be making a pink winter set. I believe this set came out very, very nice. So in the beginning, the video had just started, but I had already shaped, buffed, and put a base coat on the nails and cured that for 60 seconds. So now I'm just going in with this Mamita. I think that's the name of the brand. Mamita gel polish that I got from Amazon. It's like a pink clear nude. It's so pretty. So I'm just going to put this all over the nails. I'm going to do two coats of this. And then I'm going to cure. And I don't know where all of this lint came from, but it's lint in the nails. It feel like it's in the polish. It feel like it's just flying every which way around me. So y'all going to see me keep stopping here and there, taking it out the um off the nail. And I do feel like I still cured a lot of lint in these nails. But once the whole set is done, you can barely see it. So I'm okay with it. It is a hassle and it is annoying, but at the end of the day, just got to work through it. Okay, so I'm going to be attempting all of these designs. Like, this is my first time doing every single last one of these designs, okay? So, I need y'all to be gentle on me in them comments, but give me your honest opinion on how y'all think I did, you know? I love constructive criticism, and I can take it. So, I'm going to attempt to make some Christmas lights, and I am just going to do it halfway, like i'm not going to make the actual bulb i'm just going to use some blooming gel to make it look like these are lights you know make it look like something on this little strip here is you know glowing like lights so i'm just going back and making this line a little bit darker and i'm using model ones my stupid self was calling it model on this <laughs> for their longest but i've been watching a lot of your own um, youtube tutorials on nails and i've seen or heard a lot of creators call it model one so i'm gonna just assume that that's what it's called especially since the o looks different like it's supposed to be a separate word you know it got the little line through it you know whatever but yeah then i'm going to make the little it's like a little the thing that goes over top of the light y'all know what i'm talking about if y'all don't just go to the store get some christmas lights pull your old christmas lights from out the uh you know the christmas little trunk that y'all keep all the decorations in and just look at a light bulb i mean a string of lights you know and then just try to recreate it the best you know how which i did so i'm just gonna go ahead and finish this out and then after i do the little i'm gonna call them knobs that goes on top of the lights you want to cure it and I did not feel myself putting on the blooming gel, but blooming gel is just like any other type of polish. You want to put a thin layer and don't cure it. You just want to go in, make dots anywhere. And doesn't it look like it's just glowing, blooming, whatever? You know, but yeah, that was that. I really like that blooming gel. And that's what a lot of people use when they trying to make that little crock or snake design. So I really like that now we are on the uh, what is this the thumb okay and mind you i said I, this is my first time trying these designs so this french hair it took i'll say a good five to ten minutes you know and i feel like that isn't pretty long for me i mean i've i, I don't know y'all I don't know. I don't know what how I feel about doing Frenches. I don't even know how I feel about the actual look on my finger. When I see it on other people, I'm like, yo, that look really, really cute. Like, I want that on my hands. Then when I put them on my hands 
or I'll go to the nailery and get my nails done. They look all boxy. It don't matter the shape of the nail, but they just look boxy. And I don't know how I feel about them yet, but we going full as French in with this um, polish. This polish is from Gelen, G-E-L-L-E-N. I got it off Amazon. And it was given that jelly type, translucent looking type of polish, but it's not. It's just really um, clear. I don't know. It really give off that jelly look without it, you know, being on the nail. Maybe I'll swatch um, the colors, but I spill hair glue all over the polishes. I mean, they're still usable. You know, hair glue, once it's dry, you just peel it right off. But it's it's bad so i gotta peel all that glue off and then i'll maybe i'll do a video of me swatching the gelin but that's that and i think i did pretty okay with the french i don't know if it's like centered or not but it doesn't really matter because i'm gonna go over that with that same silver liner and just you know try to hide the imperfections if you will And I just want to say a disclaimer. I am not a nail tech. I am not an up and coming nail tech. I am a person who likes to make press-ons for herself, my sister, my cousin, you know, whoever acts. And I do want to make sets for other people, but not like to charge. I want to practice. And I do eventually want to get into acrylics, but we're going to start slow. And I'm, you know, not rushing to learn these things so on this nail i don't know what nail it is but we're gonna do a ring wow it must be the ring finger but we're gonna be doing a, a half a snowflake and i forgot where i saw this i think it was on um tiktok and i just was like i got that sugar sand i got some white polish all you doing is drawing lines so it shouldn't be that hard but clearly it is now, when it comes to the snowflake, the lines itself isn't hard. It's basically getting it in the right position, the right proportion to the other side, you know, making sure it comes out as wide as the other side. It's, it's a lot. But nonetheless, this came out so cute. And I honestly think this may be my favorite nail of this whole set. I'm stuck between the French because I'm happy that I was able to do it and this because this it looks so intricate like it looked like somebody spent time on this this type of snowflake now the snowflake with the dots and then you draw the line through it I tried that and I don't like it at all um I don't like doing it with a brush like drawing the line with a brush I like making the dots a little bit thick and then using like a skinny dotting tool to pull the polish through each little dot but this right here although it look hard it's so much easier for us beginners i'm really trying to tell y'all just try it get a nice skinny brush and just try it so after i draw the snowflake i'm just going to go back over it just making the polish a little bit more wet because i feel like with as long as it took me um <laughs> the first group period and dried even without it being under the you know the light okay so after i go in again with the second little coat i'm not going to cure it instead i'm going to grab my little sugar glitter whatever it's called i really don't know the terminology y'all so don't come for me but i'm going to take the sugar glitter and i'm going to sprinkle it over it now i don't know what to do after it whether i should cure it before brushing it off or brush it and then cure it so what i did was i cured it for seven seconds i remember i went to the nail salon one time and i was getting this type of sugar sand and she said put it in and count for seven seconds and then when she did it she just brushed it off so that's what i did <laughs> and it came it came off pretty good but next now i know this is the pinky and i'm gonna do a little candy cane now this is just like the snowflake it looks simple it is simple honestly but 
it's the same thing. You just got to make sure that the lines are all going the same direction and then that the space in between each line goes in the same direction as well as, you know, the proportions to the thicker lines and the thinner line. You know, you don't want to be too spaced out or too big of a line, one strip or, you know, you know. So just take your time. This design is it's pretty simple. Like, it's common sense, honestly. But I... I I ain't going to say it again. I love how this set came out. Even with my doubts and everything. And just knowing that. I Even the length, y'all. I do not wear this type of length. But I want to. I want to. And the only reason I don't is because I got kids. And I feel like long, long nails when it comes to my babies. They just won't do. You know, especially since I got to do their hair every weekend. So the shorter nails, there's st I still have a little length. They coming off the my actual nail. It ain't like short, short, like uh. But yeah, I got I still have a little length. But we're gonna try these because I don't have my kids this week. Mm, mm, mm. Don't have my kids, so we're gonna try it. All right, I feel like I'm talking forever, but my daughter, she was watching one of my videos, my oldest daughter, and she clicked off of it in front of my face. And I'm like, uh, excuse me, but it was a no talking video. And she's like, I don't like the no talking videos. So I'm like, okay, thank you for that. Thank you. But with that candy cane now, I just went in on some of the lines with that same silver glitter um gel liner from Model Ones. And now we are moving on to the next nail. Again, my first attempt, I'm doing the sweater design, okay? I love this design, whether it's the sweater look, the hearts, the dots, the stars. It don't matter what design it actually is. When that matte top coat goes on, so that's what I did, y'all. Put the matte top coat on. Um, After doing two coats, put the matte top coat on, cure that, and then you go in with your, your design. So when I tell y'all... This design is literally the easiest design on this set. It's so easy. Now, I ain't going to hold you. Like, when I went to go start, I started with the two lines on the side first. But that was, it was kind of hard. Now, starting with the actual crisscross little design in the middle is so much easier. Because you know where to put your lines after the fact. Instead of making the lines and then only having a certain amount of space to you know do the actual sweater design now the only thing about this with me is i had a hard time getting it in the middle it's not in the middle but at the end of the day i really don't care because i was just so excited that i was able to do this design so yeah y'all if y'all struggling just do the sweater design because it was simple and i'm so happy i love the way it came out so after you make your design, you don't cure it, but instead you go in with some clear acrylic. And this is just some regular clear acrylic that you get in one of them um, kiss practice sets. It's raining, so excuse the rain. But yeah, nothing too extravagant. I think it was like $6. I did the same little seven second under the light. And that is so freaking cute, yo. I'm hyped. Okay, so we're not even going to talk too much about the Jews because I didn't change the whole placement on the next hand. So y'all have to see the final results in the next clip. Here it is. Let me know how I did in them comments, please. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to like, share, comment, and most importantly, subscribe. Bye. I'll see y'all in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.